Greetings and welcome to part 4 of the ongoing series on trigonometry. Today we shall be covering the sine rule. The success criteria for today will be for students to be able to apply the sine rule to find unknown lengths and unknown angles for a given triangle. Let's begin with a recap of the notations. In the last lesson, we learned that side A is the side opposite angle A. Side B is the side opposite angle B, and side C is the side opposite angle C. We also learnt in the last lesson the trigonometric formula for finding the area of a triangle, which is half AB sine C, where C is the angle between sides A and B. However, I could have chosen different sides. I could have chosen side B and C. Then, I will need to take sine of angle A, the angle between side B and side C. And for completeness sake, I could have chosen side A and side C. Then I will need to take sine of angle B, the angle between side A and side C. With that, we have derived three different ways of finding the area of a triangle using trigonometry. From this preamble, we can now prove the sine rule. Equating the three area formulas together, we can first cancel out the coefficients of half. Next, we can divide all these three terms by the term ABC. By cancelling away the common factor, we get a version of the sine rule that states sine C over C equals to sine A over A equals to sine B over B. Alternatively, we can invert these three fractions. We get another version of the sine rule that states that C over sine C equals to A over sine A equals to B over sine B. This tells us that for any given triangle, the ratio of a side against the sine of its opposite angle is always a constant. As an added challenge, I'm going to let this constant be D. I would like you to think, what is the geometrical interpretation of this constant D for any given triangle? If you think you know the answer, put your answer down in the comment section below. Putting the challenge aside, here is checkpoint 1. Check your own understanding. Try to find the values of the unknown side x and the unknown angle y for these two given triangles. Pause the video here and give these questions a good try. Let's now go through the answers. In part 1, we are given unknown side x, which is opposite the angle 32 degrees. We are also given a side 9 that is opposite the angle 113 degrees. This allows us to pull out the sine rule and substitute the unknown values inside. We're now going to make x the subject. Evaluating this tells us that x is 5.18 units to 3SF, and we put units because the units is not given in this question. Moving on to part 2. As a good practice, we look for opposite pairs. Angle 75 is opposite side 12, whereas unknown angle y is opposite... Oh gosh, we don't know this side. How will we ever use sine rule? Fortunately, we have a known side 10 that is opposite another unknown angle, this red angle here. Perhaps we can use sine rule to find this angle first. Substituting the known values into the sine rule, we can make sine C the subject first. Then we can find the value of angle C by taking inverse sine of 10 sine 75 over 12. This will give us a value of 53.6 degrees. Bear in mind that sometimes an obtuse angle solution may exist here, but this is impossible in this case because the angles will exceed 180 degrees for this triangle. Angle Y can then be discovered by using the sum of angles in a triangle, and this will give us an answer of 51.4 degrees to one decimal place. For some additional practice, I've included a worksheet on this topic as well as the solution sheet for you to self-check your answers when you're done. This will be found in the info section below. Do leave any comments if you have any questions. Before we end, let's go back to where we began. Let us reflect. 
Are you now able to apply the sine rule to find the values of unknown lengths and unknown angles in any given triangle? We have come to the end of part 4, covering the derivation and application of the sine rule. Stay tuned to part 5, where we will be covering the cosine rule. Until then, thank you and have a great day of learning.